Day before break. And all through the school. Not a student was learning. Not even the fools. The teachers were trying. To hold attention with care. But the students, with hopes of sleeping in. Wouldn't dare. The Rock TV studio knows and understands. Here's today's announcements. Pay, Pay attention, attention if, if you can. can. Hey Westfield, I'm John Sparling and here are your Rock TV announcements. The testing center is full for today during sixth period. Students may still test if they choose to wait quietly in the hall outside the testing center room 2306. When a seat opens up, they will be able to come in and get started. The testing center will be open until 4.30 p.m. Students who have signed up for the testing center whose plans have changed should go into plus time and take themselves off the testing center roster so that someone else may have that seat. They can choose release or another classroom. We are open during the day for students with release classes, JEL, senior seminar, co-op, etc., or if a teacher sends a student. Get excited! Winter Homecoming Spirit Week 2018 is coming January 8th through 12th. Here are the dress up day themes. Monday is Patriot slash USA, Tuesday is Mom versus Dad, Wednesday is Workout, Thursday is Teacher Lookalike, and Friday is Pink Out. Hashtag WHS Winter Homecoming 2017 to tweet out the best outfits. Hey Westfield, this is Joe Mayer to recap 2017 and the sports world. In the NBA, Kevin Durant needed a super team to win his first title at Golden State. And the NHL, as no one was watching, the Penguins went back to back. After years of despair, the Astros won their first ever title. But hey Astros, the Cubs still outshined you and they didn't even make the World Series. In the NCAA football, Alabama finally ran into another good team as Deshaun Watson secured Clemson a national championship. In NCAA men's basketball, congrats Gonzaga, you made it to the national championship for the first time in forever and you laid an egg. And congrats North Carolina for paying the refs and winning the national championship. In NCAA women's basketball, Holy cow, someone besides UConn won this year. Congrats to you, South Carolina, on national championship. Last but not least in the NFL, the Patriots won another title, but this time, no allegations. And don't worry, Falcons, we realize you blew a 28-3 lead in the Super Bowl. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over, Over the, the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! All right, so tell us your name. Mr. Epley. And what is your New Year's resolution? To eat better. What's your name? Uh, Mr. Comer. Jenna Robinson. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, favorite Christmas movie is actually a tie between National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and Die Hard. All right, so tell us your name. Samuel Elliott. I'm Mr. Patchett. Mr. Bennett. What's your name? My name is Maddie McGovern. And your New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution this year is, I think, to have better hair than uh, Coach Gilbert and Coach Hampton, although that's not really setting the bar very high. What's your favorite Christmas movie? The Grinch. Christmas Vacation, hands down. Not even close. Elf, maybe. Christmas Vacation. My New Year's resolution is to better myself and stop being a bum and work out more. <laughs> <laughs> to encourage other people to not just do their best, but I want them to go beyond their best. I want them to do my best instead of their best. What's your name? Dylan Zeller. And what's your favorite Christmas movie? Elf. And what is your New Year's resolution this year? I'm really glad that you asked because I want to become prepared and confident for all the uh, things approaching with college. And what's your favorite Christmas or holiday tradition? Um, for some reason my mom always puts oranges in our stockings and I'm not sure why, but I, I like them, so yeah. What is the worst gift you've ever gotten? 
Um, one time on Christmas, my parents got me a baby bunny, and I woke up on Christmas morning and it was dead. And what's your favorite Christmas gift you've ever gotten? A cat. What color was it? It was Siamese. No, it was white, actually. So it was a ragdoll cat. What is your favorite Christmas tradition? Eating Christmas cookies. <laughs> and what was your favorite gift from Christmas, or? Uh, I got a trip to Mexico, and I was like 10 with my family, and we got to swim with the dolphins and everything. Any sharks? Nope, no sharks. <laughs> Are there sharks in Mexico? <laughs> yeah, in the ocean. What's the worst Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Um, one of my friend's parents gave me gluten-free cookies. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever got? Uh, probably a hoverboard. I know those are pretty expensive, so that was pretty nice to have. What's your most memorable holiday tradition? My mom makes pancakes for us every Christmas morning. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever got? Shoes. What is the worst Christmas gift you've ever got? Um, socks. What was the best gift you've ever gotten? An Xbox One. Did you get any games with it? Yep, I got the Master Chief Collection.